I'm Lana Kelly, and this is Hudson Valley Art Speak. Thanks for watching today. Um, today I'm going to be talking to Mary Muller, who is a photographer, and she is working in Dutchess County, um, doing some farm studies and some other work. Um, Mary, thanks for coming today. Well, thank you for inviting me, Lana. You're welcome. You're welcome. We had been chatting a little bit before, and um, you had said that you didn't. You bought your first real camera just in 2008. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was as a, a result of um, a trip I had planned to India, mm -hmm. and um, I really wanted to be able to take some good images. And all I had was a point and shoot. And so, you know, I jumped in with both feet and bought a Nikon D300 and whole bunch of lenses and uh -huh. then I didn't know what to do with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I saw your pictures from India on your website and they were beautiful. So you Thank did you. a pretty good job for <laughs> somebody who didn't know where she was uh, starting. Well, I had a good mentor uh -huh. in uh, Lori Adams and uh, she's been incredibly helpful to me in helping me learn how to see. Have you been, uh, did you have an interest in photography before your trip? Well, I would say I had a curiosity about it. Mm -hmm. um, it was a great revelation to me that I could take a photograph, <laughs> first of all, in focus, and it looked like something. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And so now um, one of the things that you're focusing on are two farms? Yes. I started this project um, a year ago as a result of um, a friend of mine who is an artist. Uh, her name is Jocelyn Sondor. And she um, specializes in um, horse portraits, um, commissions um, of people and their horses. And she spoke to me and said, I would really like to do a study of one or two farms. Um, I'll paint and you photograph, Mary. Mm -hmm. And uh, she suggested that I take a look at um, a book about Kerner's farm that uh, Andrew Wyeth spent a tremendous amount of time at, and she said, take a look at that and, and understand what Andrew Wyeth saw in studying a farm, and I did. And uh, we chose two farms. One is closer to Joslyn in uh, Cornwall, Connecticut, called Stonewall Dairy, and the other is close to me, and that's Wheatley Farm in Stanfordville, New York. And they're two distinctly different farms. Uh -huh. I think farms offer an incredible range of subjects for photography. Um, you have the animals, which you photograph. You, you have the barns and the structures and, and the tools. You have the farmers themselves and the landscape. And, and if they grow any produce, you have the fields. So um, do, do you um, just move from subject to subject, or do you focus is each farm a particular focus for you? I have to remember to photograph the people, and it, people is what I'm, or who I'm really interested in. Um, but at these farms, I've just gotten totally involved with the animals. Uh, Wheatley Farm has the most amazing um, brown Swiss oxen, and his name is Ugg, and his, uh -huh. his photograph um, will be up on the website. Uh, and when I first met Ugg, he has these huge horns and big brown eyes, and I was <sighs> terrified of him. And uh, now I've gotten to know him, and he eats dog biscuits, and he lets me pet him, and he's really? the only one on the farm that will let me pet him. And... Uh, the, the other um, animals on the farm uh, have now begun to accept me. You know, I'm not allowed to touch them, but I can yeah, get close to yeah. them. And can you walk in the fields with them? Or oh, yes, you, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I worked for a small circus one time, and they had some animals, and they got a buffalo once. And I, it, I was just always so drawn to it, but I was so scared of it, too. It just, <laughs> I never got over that fear, though. <laughs> Their horns are really big. <laughs> yeah, and they're gigantic, yeah. savage-looking animals, you know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, so I understand um, how, how oxen would intimidate a yeah, person. Yeah, he's, he's, he's tremendous. And, yeah. and I have horses, and I've owned horses for, you know, 50 years, and uh -huh. uh, Ugg is bigger. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. So you also, though, at that farm, I, I think I, I saw photographs of, of somebody milking the cows. Um, is no, that that's at Stonewall. Farm? That's at Stonewall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if we went to Stonewall, um, is that where the chickens are also? They, what else do yes. they have there? Well, they uh, milk um, Jersey cows, and they have a herd of about 30 um, cows. Um, and they are milking for raw milk, mm -hmm. and they so they sell the farm the milk at the farm, um, in addition to produce that they're growing in their gardens uh -huh. and eggs. Um, I know that you can get turkeys there in the fall, uh -huh. um, and they're you know they're very active. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and that's it's, it. Just seemed like it's, it's just su such a riches of subject matter for you to be able to go there and and, and um, do they have old or historic barns on the sites? Yes, they're both um, they're both old barns. They're uh -huh. they're not new. Yeah, um, and uh, there is one photograph on the uh, uh, what do you call it? Your your photographs that are showing on the on the screen yeah. of the inside of one of the barns. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So when you, um, what's the difference when you're shooting the animals or when you're shooting a person? Um, do you try to shoot them unawares or, or um, you know, do, do, do you tell the people, you know, like, oh, I'm going to take your photograph now or just, um, you know, do you photograph them at work? I don't want them posing. Yeah. Um, I, I want them to be comfortable in, in their environment. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if they're working with the animals, um, to interact with the animal, not with me. Yeah. Uh, with the animals themselves, sometimes, um, as you can see from the rooster on the wall, I mean, he's, he's looking at me. Yes, yeah. Uh, and, and I wanted that. Uh, so it depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, Pallas, who's over to the the uh, my right, uh -huh. uh, you know, she's she's feeding the chickens, and that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. I wouldn't want her to stop and mm -hmm. look mm -hmm. at me. So I, I guess people have the the people who work there or who own the farms have become comfortable with you. It takes a while. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You have to to stay and wait, and and then their story starts to unfold. Mm -hmm. And are they people, have, have they been in farming for a long time, or are they, or are they there's um, such a movement of um, younger people taking, um, taking on farming as a business, or, you know, um, opening organic farms? Wheatley Farm is uh, owned by an individual, and then uh, it is farmed by uh, Travis Pope, and he, I can't remember the name of the school that he went to, but it was someplace in the Midwest for farming uh -huh. and for herd management, and he's been there for about two years, and I would say that Travis is in his late 30s, uh -huh. but he's, he moved to the area with his wife, and she's a large animal veterinarian, um, and, you know, they just love it, uh -huh. um, and then with... Um, Stonewall Dairy, uh, the owner of that farm, um, Chris, is, he's in his early 60s. Mm -hmm. and he just, he, you know, he, you watch him touch a cow and, and you just know that he loves it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can tell. Yeah. And yeah. So. yeah. Is there a particular time of day that you favor for photographing or when you find the animals are more or less receptive or? Well, if you want to photograph, uh, uh, Chris milking the cows, you have to either go early in the morning or late in the afternoon. And, yeah. Uh, Stonewall is an hour away from me, so I usually, you know, if I'm going to be focusing on the inside of the, the barn, I'll go in the afternoon. Right. And uh, other than that, you know, the harsh light is not good. Mm -hmm. But Yeah, I know, yeah. late afternoon and, and late mo or early morning are, are always uh, yeah. wonderful for light. Yeah, it's, it's the magical time, so yeah. noon is not not the best. No, it's not. It's, it's <laughs> too flat and too many shadows. Um, so is there, do you find this, there's anything unique or um, 
about your um, approach to photography or um, your style? Well, I would say that my friends are now saying that what makes me unique is just that I really like the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's, I've just gotten to know them. Yeah. And, and the animals really do um, tell you about themselves mm -hmm. if you give them the chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have a whole new series you're working on with the chickens, don't you? Yes. Uh, the first time that I was introduced to the chickens at um, Chris Hopkins' farm, um, Stonewall Dairy, I thought, wow, these are pretty cool. And then I went the next time and I started photographing them. And I looked at their feathers and the feathers just blew me away. Yeah. You know, I had never seen anything like that uh -huh. before. Uh, and then I thought, well, gee, maybe... I could photograph just the feathers. Yeah. And uh, that took a little while because the chickens, you know, they don't stand still. You know, I have an image of you <laughs> <laughs> running around in a, in a yard full of chickens, leaning over them, trying to, to get, you know, a photograph of their backs. <laughs> well, I, you don't run around, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, and I do uh, go and sit with them. Yeah. Uh, so I'll... You know, I'll go and sit in their yard with them and sit down on a uh, plastic bag and, yeah. you know, just let them get be comfortable and all of that. And then, um, you know, I do get up. I have to be standing in order yeah. to yeah. photograph them up close yeah. as far as the feathers are concerned. Yeah. And I just stand and wait. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, this, this photograph right here, um, just tell us a little bit about that. Okay. So this photograph is from the chicken that's hanging on the, or the, the rooster that's hanging on the wall, and it's part of his back feathers. Uh, and it's actually a composite of one photograph, um, composited four times. I, I found uh, originally, when I was photographing the feathers, there was no place for your eye to land, um, that you need a focal point. So, my idea was to uh, multiply it four times, and then your focal point would be in the center of the photograph. And I also tried um, to move the focal point around, and that didn't work. It didn't work so The well. focal point yeah. wanted to be in the center. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And is there some place where people can go to see these photographs? The, the, I think you said that, what is the name of the show? Or the series? The Cluck Collection. The Cluck Collection. And the Cluck Collection is currently at uh, Le Express, uh -huh. which is a restaurant on New Hackensack uh, Road in Wappingers. Okay. Well, great. You know, I think that I'll definitely stop by and see them. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for Thank coming, you. Mary. Thank you. It was you. good to talk to you today. Appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for the opportunity.